What is up guys, Royal Penguin from Astralis R6 here, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys the top 5 console tips on how to improve in Rainbow Six Siege. Now that being said, it leads me to the question of the day. How did you get better on console? Now, be sure to comment it down below because I love to read the comments, but it can really be anything. It could be warming up if you're watching other people. Just let me know down below. I love to read the comments. But that being said, let's get into this video. Alright, so in today's video, like I said, I want to talk about console tips and tricks. And the first most important tips and trick for a console that I need to give to you is going to be to use this thing. You see right here, this is a controller, okay? This goes to my Xbox. So what that means is don't use a zim don't use a strike packed controller recoil what you're gonna do is you're gonna see where i am right here see it's a terrorist hunt you're gonna go into here and you're gonna get better on the controller do not be like those weirdos who use a mouse and keyboard on console because they are terrible and don't want to get better don't be the type of people that use a cronus or a zim or anything to try and help the recoil you do not need that it is very simple it's called going into t hunts and actually practicing if you're going to put time into this game, you, there's no point to cheat. I don't I don't understand it. Just learn to get better. Even if everyone else is doing it, don't do it. it it's just stupid. Like, Zims are for people who are losers. And you don't want to be a loser, so don't do it. Like, it's coming from me. I just recently came back to console. I just got a next series, you know, next-gen Xbox. And I'm a controller PC player. I have been diamond on PC with a controller, okay? I have versed mass keyboards every day. I have versed pro players. I have versed champions. I have versed other people. But I still use a controller because I enjoy it. I also do it for content. But just, I'm just trying to show you that you don't need a mass and keyboard, even if everyone else has a keyboard, okay? You don't need that. You do not need that at all. And now I'm back on console doing content again because, you know, I enjoy it. I, I wanted to come back to console. Also, there's not any cheaters where I'm being wall banged through walls. So I was like, you know what? I'll take a little break from PC. So I wanted to come back and show you guys that you don't need a Zim. This is what you're going to do. You're going to go into this sea hunt and you're going to work on your aim. You're going to work on your recoil control. You're going to work on your crosshair placement. You're going to work on your movement. And when you do that, you'll notice yourself actually get better, which I want to talk about in this video. I want to talk about all the things and other tips on how to find stacks and how to do all these different things for console that I think will actually help you improve in a legit way. So that's the first tip, but let's move on to the next one. All right, so the second tip I want to talk about with T hunts, like I mentioned, is generally warming up. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go out and you're going to buy 20 tubs of G Fuel. No, I'm kidding. But what you're going to do is you're just going to come into T hunts and you're just going to like just warm up. It's very simple. If you want to get better controller, all you have to do is just come in and warm up. It's simple. Before you go into a rank game, just go and warm up. The more you warm up, the better you're going to be against those weirdos that play mouse and keyboard. Because literally what I'll do is I'll put on house only and I'll just go in like this. It's a live reaction. It's like I'm doing it for like the best T hunt waiting to try to get the best to show you. Like you'll see, I'm gonna mess up my aim sometimes. But that's why I'm in here in T hunts. That's why I'm here practicing. That's why I'm here warming up. Because if you don't warm up, you're going to be bad. You're not gonna have confidence when you're playing. You're gonna play like an idiot. You're gonna like, especially if you come off other games, okay? If you're a console player, you probably are playing other games like Call of Duty, Apex, where there is aim assist so you come to siege where there's no aim assist and you literally are gonna be poo because it's gonna take time to readjust to not having that aim assist even if it's very little aim assist it's very hard to come back and play on a controller after you know you've played with aim assist so what you want to do is literally just do what i'm doing now just go into a t hunt put on house only or coastline coastline is a great one as well i just enjoy doing house because it's a very small map and you just are going to warm up it's very simple what i recommend you guys do is maybe do about like three four five six t hunts just do it until you feel comfortable with your aim you don't want to be poo going into rank and then be you know shooting all over the place like you're playing connect the dots at your shots you want to make sure that you are warmed up you want to make sure that you are confident you don't want to be like walking around like an idiot so literally just do this like i said go into a t hunt warm up your aim warm up your flicks warm up everything and, you just, and you use this too use this okay this is a great device right here I have an Elite Controller Series 2, I have panels on the back of it, and I actually lean with them, it's actually a really good controller. So a short mini tip, you know, if you do have the money and want to get an Elite Controller or a Scuff Controller, I'd recommend it, I think it helps a lot, I think it helps your movement, helps your aim, it helps me a lot, I have my raised analog sticks, I, I, it's great. But that being said, let's move on to the, to the next tip. Now before we move on to the next tip, today's video is brought to you by Root Insurance. With Root Insurance, you can get a rate primarily based on how you drive. 
Good drivers can save up to $900 a year with Root. So you should totally get it. I'm telling you, it's worth it. Download the Root app to see how much you could be saving, as well as how much you could save, because better drivers deserve better rates. With Root, you can save hundreds. So be sure to download it. You can get a free quote by using the link in the description below, or you could download the app on iOS or Android. So be sure to go get it. It is worth it. I'm telling you, trust me, you could be saving a ton. Also, before we move on real quick, I just want to say be sure to go grab the Disrupt the Gaming skin from the store because it is not going to exist for much longer. As you know, Astralis has acquired Disrupt. So if you want this valuable skin, be sure to go grab it because you will not be able to buy it for much longer. You can get it for the L8 or for the R4C, but be sure to go grab it while you can. But that being said, let's get back to this video. Alright, now if you have problems finding games and you're always solo queuing and you can't find a stack to play with, which I would recommend you always try and find a stack to play with because that was, you know, that's where you're going to see the most success is if you're in a 5 stack. I have something that you can do if you play on Xbox. So if you're on Xbox, all you have to do is go to the game and then go to the game card. Now what you can do is you can actually go to the official club and you can actually find people to play with. Now a lot of people don't like doing this because they say, oh well, they're terrible, they're never good. Okay, well people are going to post here a lot of 2v2s, a lot of custom game stuff, which is always fun. But for example here, you see gold 0.9 KD, okay, he's putting stuff that will actually like set something like plat 3 plus na so like that's what you can do as well so that way you don't get silvers or bronze when they join your thing for example it's very easy to do all you have to do is literally go here and you can make your own you can create a post and then if i wanted to i can put any tags i want i can add a description like for example i can say plat one only or i can even say like like champion plus, like champion only, diamond plus, like 1.3 KD only. And you don't need it because KD doesn't matter, so that doesn't matter. But just put like a rank that you are. Like if you're like a plat 3, put plat 3 plus looking for ranked teammates. And people will join. There's, there's a lot of people that are, are doing this. Like, as you hear, 684 groups looking for more players. And, the, and it's going to be more too. I'm recording this at 1.30 p.m. And most people are in school, but like you'll notice more around the four, five, six o'clock range. There's thousands, about like 1,200, 1,500, just double. So it's like you're gonna see a lot of people on here that are going to be looking for teammates, looking for people. There's also a lot of people that do like one of the two v twos and stuff like that. But for example, gold only right here. People want to do that. Gold point nine KD plus, plat three plus, ranked bronze to silver. So it's all over. The the ranking is all over. It does not matter what rank you are. If you need to play in a stack, which I would recommend you do, if you really cannot find any friends, go check this out. Now, when it comes to PlayStation, I'm not really sure exactly how that works because I haven't played PlayStation in a while. But I remember there used to be communities that you could join that you'd be able to like make posts for. I don't know if that's still a thing, but I know on Xbox you can do this and this will still definitely help. Now, if you're on PlayStation and there is no community things, I'd recommend you go on Instagram or even Facebook. I don't even use Facebook, but I know that they do have a ton of different communities, especially on Instagram. And especially on Discord as well. And if you play PC, they have that too. But there's a ton of different ways to find a 5-stack. And I would definitely try and find one. Because you will notice yourself play a lot better when you are in a 5-stack. Rather, if you are solo queuing. Or at least a duo, 3, you know, 4, whatever it may be. Just try not to solo queue. You can if you have to. I've done it a lot. But if you really want to see yourself succeed. Especially on console where the communication is not really that good. I would recommend trying to play with the most amount of people that you possibly can. But that being said... Let's move on to the next tip. All right, so I want to talk about solo queuing. So clearly, like I told you guys how to generally find a stack, but you know what? Not all the time you can't find a stack. Sometimes just people are not on, or let's say example on PS4, they don't have the thing that Xbox has. So this is for everyone on console, and this could even be for PC, but this is especially on console because you can't really communicate and like type in chat how you can on PC when, when you want to decide everything for your game. I'll show you. Alright, so now, for example, what I what I mean by this is, right, let's say you're attacking and you don't really, you know, know who to go or you can't tell your teammates who to go. So what I'll do is I'll sit here and wait. I have 17 seconds. I'm going to let my teammates pick because I want to win this game. I don't care about kills. I care about winning. So I'm going to see, okay, we, we have a hard beach, but we do have a maverick. They're probably going to go upstairs first, so we probably should bring another hard beach. But we also do need something for, like, to get stuff off the wall. Thatcher is banned. Um, I'm going to take thermite because I think it's more important. 
to get the wall open rather than trying to maverick it i think it's a lot easier especially if we do want to go for an office take i think it would be a lot better if i take thermite because i think it will help the team more so that's what you want to do when you play if you're solo queuing okay you don't want to just hard pick ash and then have like an ash a yana a zofi an iq and a twitch like that's not what you need you want to when you're solo queuing and especially on console because i can't tell my teammates quickly in chat hey we need a thermite or hey we need a, a twitch to get stuff off the wall i'm just gonna sit here and wait and pick because I'm confident in myself. I know I can frag out. I know I can do good. So I'm going to take someone that my team actually needs so that way I can actually help them when I play. You know what I mean? You don't want to just, like, be selfish. That's one way to help yourself when you are solo queuing on console. Because I know it can definitely be tough sometimes. On top of that, one thing that you want to do is when you are actually playing, you want to, like, help your teammates and try and communicate, whether it's not with your voice, but with your drone. So, for example, I'm a support player. I am playing Thermite right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the Yana and the Yamaru push in first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drone them in. They're, you know, they're upstairs. So what I'll do is I'll drone into the site. I'll start pinging stuff. I'll do all this stuff for my team to help them actually win instead of me pushing in. Because I know my role is very, very important. For example, I will drone in. I will drone out. It's all over here. I'll make sure it's clear. See, there's someone on ping right here. I'll ping this for my team. I can't tell them I hit it there. But I can leave a ping let them know. You located a bomb. Now all I have to do is plant the bomb, push up my team, play my role, which is the support role because nobody else took it, so I have no problem taking it. Then I can just wait on the flank. They are watching that, so I'm gonna watch with I'm gonna look at what they're watching. Cause I can't ask what they're watching. So I know I can just cover this, watch the flank just in case. Cause I know they are covering that. That being said, my teammate did go down, so what I can do now is I can watch this. What I want to do is get in a better angle though, so that way I'm covered from behind me. And if he does come behind me, I can kill him like that. You know what I mean? You can't really communicate with your team. So you want to use your surroundings to help you. I can't ask if he's if he's okay. So I'll just put myself in a better position to be able to watch both ways. That's what you want to do when you're solo queuing. You want to make sure that you are obviously trying to communicate with your team and looking at everything based off of how it's going. That being said, let's move on to the next tip. All right, so for the next tip, I want to talk about the most asked question that I get as a streamer. And I'm sure a ton of other people get as well when they stream. A lot of people ask me what sensitivity I should use. How do I find my sensitivity? What is your sensitivity? So I want to go over this because I feel like it's very important to find sensitivity that you're comfortable on. Now, what I recommend you do is go into your team, like, I, like I've been doing, like I told you, you know, this is the best place to learn and get better. Clear out the top floor and just like work on your sensitivity. Generally, you want to find a sensitivity that you can control very well, that you can control the recoil of a gun very well as well. And you want to find something that is, you know, good for you, something that you're not all over the place with. So I'd recommend that you go based off of any sensitivity you want you can take somebody else's sensitivity if you want but what i recommend you do is try and take it and mold it to you so for example um i play on 35 vertical 75 horizontal and five dead zone and then on ads i play on a very slow ads sense. i used to play very high like on pc i play on 100 because it's personally easier when you're on a higher fov and when you're on a higher you know different aspect ratio when you have more frames stuff like that it definitely makes it a little bit easier to control faster sense but i've lowered my sense now and i've lowered it more and you don't have to take a sense, but what I recommend that you do if you cannot find sensitivity is put it on like 50, for example, right? 50 ADS, and then put like your horizontal on like 50 and your vertical, maybe a low, little bit lower than 50, and try it out, right? So if it's too fast for you, like I said, like you can't control recoil, and like you are looking around too much, like then lower it by like 5, right? Lower it by like, let's say put it on 30, or let's say you could take this and put it on seven or like 70 for me. Let's say if it was like too fast. If it was too slow, right? Then just put it up by five in intervals and just practice this in T hunts. Come up here, just do T hunts, practice your recoil control, practice your movement, practice your flicks, like practice everything. And then try and see if it's too fast or too slow and change it by intervals of five for all of them, depending on it. Like if you're looking up and down too fast, then lower your vertical. If you're looking up and down too slow, increase it. If you're looking left and right too fast, lower your horizontal and same vice versa for, you know, for like your ADS. If you're aiming in and it's too fast, lower it. If it's too slow, increase it. But do it by five until you can find a nice sweet spot for your sensitivity. There's no point to just trying to steal other people's sensitivities. But if you really like a sense, like for example, I play on 100 ADS, 100 horizontal, and 35 vertical on PC. It took me a little bit to get used to it because it's a very fast sense, but I just did a ton of tea until I got used to it. On console, I honestly just wanted to lower it because I wanted to try a lower sense. I've never tried a low, like a lower sense like this, and I like it. I might go up again because I think it might be a little bit too slow for me, but I'm trying out different sensitivities, just trying to see what I like the most and, you know, giving it a try. But that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope these tips do help you guys. My name is Royal Penguin. I will see you guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.